Okay, so let's get started. The first thing is to um, open the Anaconda prompt uh, from your Windows and change your directory to your current directory. In my case, I'll change it to, uh, sorry, CD. That means change directory to C courses. That's where I saved all my Jupyter notebooks. Um, in your case, you may uh, need to change to a different directory. Okay. I'll hit enter. And I'll hit CD. Okay, so my current working directory is changed to C courses from the previous one. Uh, the next thing is I will um, activate, actually, I'll list the environments that are in my uh, Conda, um, uh, in my Conda platform so all right conda in list so conda in list is used to um, list the different environment I already uh, have created and it will list the different environment um, that uh, that's um, already created um, in my conda so in my case I'll use the um, I'll use the Earth Engine um, Python environment, okay? So the next thing is to activate one of this environment, in this case, EE Python environment. So conda activate EE Python inf. This is my environment, okay? I've already created that. So once I activate that, um, I'll hit enter and I'll open, once I activate my environment, the next thing is to open a Jupyter notebook. So every time I want to open a new uh, Jupyter notebook, this is the step I need to do. I'll open uh, Conda, um, change it to my current working directory, list the different environments. Um, I need if you know the name of the environment you don't necessarily need to list and once um, I have the list of environments I need to activate the, the environment that I want here in this case EE Python inv once I activate my environment and I'll open Jupyter notebook all right Jupyter notebook hit enter okay so it will automatically open a Jupyter notebook for me. This is where I saved all the Jupyter notebooks. Uh, so in this tutorial, I'll be uh, showing you how you can uh, install, um, load a Landsat imagery on the Earth Engine Python API. So, um, so this you uh, assume that you already have installed you know Earth Engine Python API. If you have not done so, go to the previous lecture, which I showed you how to install and authenticate Earth Engine uh, Python API. So here we'll install this uh, Earth Engine. Uh, we'll import rather uh, Earth Engine Folium and uh, GE Hydro package. To do that, I'll run this cell. Okay, the next step, the next thing is um, if you have not already uh, done so, you can uncheck this part to authenticate Earth Engine, but you already have authenticated Earth Engine in the previous uh, lecture, so you don't need to do that again. So you only need to initialize Earth Engine. So you can simply run this um, cell. You already have a copy of this uh, notebook, so just um, you can follow along with me. And the next thing is, this is part of the Folium package, which will help us visualize, you know, data down um, the road. So I, I would, um, I'll define this map, uh, our mapping uh, canvas, I'll run that. And the next thing is to uh, create some sort of uh, import Landsat data. But before that, um, you know, to, um, import uh, countries database here this is a global you know countries administrative boundary um, but in this example i'll choose zambia um, uh, country in africa uh, so what i'll do is just subset you know these countries by filtering it by country name here in this in this case zambia 
and the other thing um, uh, or the next thing I need to do is to import my um, Landsat data from Earth Engine Python API so it's an image collection which is Landsat NLC08 means it's Landsat 8 collection 1 um, TO1, TOA top of atmospheric um, you know reflectance I can also filter by date and bounds that means I can define the year and the months here this is 2017 January 1st to 2017 December 31st so this is uh, an entire one year of data for 2017 right and also um, you can filter it by uh, you know some some sort of boundary here in this case Zambia so I'll select um, data over Zambia uh, for the period 2017 right uh, here's the visualization you know parameter uh, for displaying true color composite here um, I'll define true min and max uh, you know parameters of the surface reflectance values and um, finally map that um, you know true color composite Landsat data and then name it true color um, uh, this will sorry I'll just undo that um, and you know add that visualization which I have already created here and and map at um, you know layer e -E image and paint so this will actually create the Zambia boundary to overlay on the Landsat image and I'll execute that script um, it's busy here once this is done I'll go to the next one the next one is just simply displaying my my Landsat data over Zambia here okay excellent so just instead of the satellite image background I'll use the you know open stream map um, as part of the volume package to display my Landsat data here as I've mentioned this is data for 2017 uh, it's, it's a true color composite so I'm kind of mosaicing you know data for the entire 2017 over um, Zambia right so this is the uh, actually the Zambian boundary and this is my you know Landsat scenes uh, mosaic for the entire year um, you know so there's some you know cloud contamination over here so I haven't done any cloud masking or things like that um, so you can zoom in if you want to um, to visualize the Landsat data uh, uh, for you know Zambia for the period 2017 so this is how you would load uh, a Landsat data using uh, an Earth Engine Python API.